Oh, wow, how'd you get in here? Hi everyone, happy holidays, Coach Matt here, here to bring you a lower body recovery video. We are going to be using the Hyperize Hypervolt Massage Gun today. So we're going to get started. So I've got a chair, got my massage gun, that's really all I need for this. So getting started, turn it on. We're going to start it at the first level here, and we're going to start standing today. So I always like to start off with my glutes. So I'm starting on the right side first, and I use what I like to refer to as a funnel technique. So funnel technique means that we are starting very broadly, uh, nice broad strokes, kind of covering as much area as we can. And then with time, we're going to get more and more specific and hone in on those areas that are either tense or sore or just need a little extra attention. And the goal here is to do about 30 seconds per uh, muscle group. So if you need a little bit more time, you can take that time. This is your recovery session. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to move on. So moving it down to the quad next. So right quad. I'm going up and down and going the entire length of my quad from my hip all the way to just above the knee, making sure to not only get the front, but also both sides. Get that IT band, as well as the adductor muscles on the inside. And just like before, we're thinking about a funnel. So as I'm going and starting, I'm identifying any areas that are perhaps a little bit more sore, tighter, need a little bit more attention, and then we can really dig into them, add a little bit more pressure, perhaps uh, turn up the intensity level just a little bit. Wow, this chair broke as I sat down. Makes for a great part of the video though, right? So moving off of the quad, we're going to move our attention to our hamstring next, hitting the back of the leg. I'm going down my right leg first. I like to do one side before I move it over to the other. So that way, if the battery dies, at least I've got one really well massaged leg. And then finding areas that may be tight, you may have a lot of tightness in your hamstrings, especially if you do a lot of sitting during the day, that's completely normal. So this is a really good uh, tool to add into your daily routine if you have access to one, whether it be at home or in your fitness center. And finally, this is why I have the chair. We're going to move our attention down to our calf, which I realize is not on the camera, so I'm going to do my best here. Nice broad strokes here, up and down, finding any areas that are a little tense, perhaps borderline painful, and making sure to give them the attention that they need. As a good rule of thumb, if the area is sore, if it feels tender, um, and not overly sore, not like bruised, but if the muscles feel um, uncomfortable to work, it's a good sign that that's an area that needs a little bit more attention. So those are the areas that you want to focus on. So we've got one leg done. We're going to move it up to the other leg now. So I'm standing again. I'm bringing it to that left glute. Making sure to cover the entire surface area. Looking for those areas that perhaps are a little bit more tense or tight or hitting the hip. Back. Although I'm wearing a watch, I have not timed this. So I'm going to say that was about 30 seconds. <sighs> Moving into the quad. 
Uh, great pro tip here, make sure that you take things out of your pocket before using massage gun, unless you want them to be uh, violently massaged as you use the gun. So no phones in pockets here. We're doing the inside and the outside. And then if you find an area of tension that you want to give a little bit more, um, a little bit more attention, really just dig in there as much as you can. All right, hamstrings, same thing, we're almost there. And finally, we're going to get that calf. Now, this is a tip I definitely should have said in the beginning, so my apologies, but a good rule of thumb, try to keep your muscles as relaxed as possible while doing this. Uh, our bodies have a natural tendency to tense up whenever there's anything uncomfortable or, or even painful, um, and we will end up tensing our muscles. And the purpose of this is to really get in as deeply as we can, massage and work out the tension from those muscles. So we are actively working to keep nice and relaxed as we do this to get that more effective massage. And that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. Um, I hope everyone has a happy holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.